This week we're ready to add our fish to the water that we created last week. So hopefully you still have your water from last week. And now we're going to create our fish. I want to make sure that you use most of the space onto your pieces of styrofoam, okay? Don't go make a tiny little fish and that's going to be wasting it. You can make more than one if you'd like. That's up to you. So right now I'm going to do my fish. Usually I like to use an oval shape but you could use whatever shape you would like. You could decide to make a straight tail or you could use a curved line. You can add some lines over here that will create more texture. The more texture you add, the more interesting it will be. I'm gonna put a dorsal fin and another little fin so it can swim. One big eye so you can see. And then I'm going to add my scales. Now your scales can be the way you would like them to be. You don't have to do them the same way I did mine. I actually would almost prefer you make your own way of making your scale, okay? So look up some different ways that could be interesting to you and that way you create a unique fish. If you'd like to have a mouth, that's fine, but make sure it goes here and not a smiley face over here, right? Because that mouth goes all the way around. You can decide that some of your lines are going to be thicker and some of them thinner. That is up to you, okay? Now I'm ready to cut it out. So I'm gonna take my scissors and do not cut on the line. Leave a little edge, okay? Just a little bit, you don't need much. Now if you made your fish with lots of details, you could always ask for a parent to cut it for you if it's too complicated. There we go. And here we are. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to finish up going around here a little bit better. There we go. Perfect. And now you're going to get the black paint that I gave you, a paintbrush and you're going to paint your whole fish black. Okay, try not to mess up too much of your table again. You could always put another piece of paper underneath to protect your table if you'd like. Okay, so I've got black all over. Now, don't put it on too thick. For this part, it's really important to not put it on too thick, okay? Because if you put it on too thick, then it's going to smear it and we're not going to see your beautiful line that you made. I'm just going to wipe this down real quick. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my water. I'm going to take my fish and I'm going to place it wherever I want it to be. Right now I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And you're going to, with some help, okay, you're going to flip it over and you're going to rub it. Because the lines are on this side, you gotta do it where you see your lines. And rub, rub, rub real good. And we're gonna peel it off. And here's our beautiful fish that we made. Isn't that cool? So this is a really cool way of doing printmaking. You could keep on doing some. If you want to, you could even use your scrap since you're at home and use your scrap and make a whole bunch. You could turn these into cards if you'd like because you could do it over and over and over again. So this here becomes your plate, your printing plate. So you could just keep on adding um, paint and just creating more prints each time you do it. That is the beauty of printmaking. Hope you have fun and I will see you next week.